Well, the number of electric battery factories keeps growing across Tennessee. I want to share with you this map. In fact, just this week, the governor announced Clarksville getting a multi-billion dollar investment from the LG Corporation. But we wanted to find out why Tennessee is fast becoming the capital of electric vehicles. The electric vehicle industry is growing lightning fast across Tennessee. An Australian-based company announced this year that they will be moving to Lebanon to make electric vehicle charging stations. GM has a battery plant in Spring Hill for its Lyric vehicle. In Smyrna, Nissan makes the electric Leaf. And near Memphis, Ford is investing billions in Blue Oval City, where the new F-Series electric pickup and batteries will be made. And at Clarksville, where LG just announced a cathode materials plant for EV batteries. In choosing Tennessee, many of these companies credit our highways, rail, lower cost of living and workforce. But Commissioner Stuart McHorter, who heads economic development, also says that for many of these plants, a reliable electric grid like the Tennessee Valley Authority is a huge selling point. LG Chem, other manufacturers that are coming in to Tennessee, they require a lot of power uh, to operate their plants. When we begin conversations with companies, the first call that we make is with TVA if we haven't already been talking to them because it's that critical to the, to the equation. TVA spokesperson Scott Fiedler says the electric grid works hard to provide clean, reliable energy to grow Tennessee and help attract the industry of the future. TVA has been investing billions of dollars over the decades, uh, making our system one of the strongest in the nation. Companies see that. And when they relocate next to one of our transmission lines or substations, they know that they're going to have TVA reliability. Tennessee's top-notch university system and research institutions like Oak Ridge National Laboratory are also a draw for EV companies. As long as we stay focused on training workers for these futuristic jobs, the road ahead looks smooth for Tennessee. I feel confident we're going to have some, some great news to share uh, here soon, uh, so stay tuned. Very good. So coming up at 6, the Economic Development Commissioner gives advice to anyone who might want to have a job in Tennessee's EV industry.